Hey, how you doing today? Ready to get back into Matthew's Gospel and continue the Sermon on the Mount? Uh, so let's look today. We're going to be in Matthew chapter 5, verses 27 to 30, continuing uh, Jesus' instructions on how to live a life uh, in the fulfillment of the law. Not just, uh, not in changing, not in removing, but in Jesus' fulfillment of God's intention for us. So join me, Matthew chapter 5, verse 27. You have heard that it was said, you shall not commit adultery. But I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to stumble, gouge it out and throw it away. For it's better to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. And if your right hand causes you to stumble, cut it off and throw it away. It's better for you to lose one part of your body for your whole body to go into hell. So Jesus continues the same pattern he's been using. You've heard it said. Now I tell you again a reminder that he is the completion of God's law. He's the one that shows us how to live and how to use God's law in the way that God intended. Today he addresses adultery. And of course, we would all agree adultery is wrong. We should not commit adultery. We shouldn't commit sexual immorality. We should be focused and committed to, to our spouse and to God's way of marriage and sexuality. And Jesus says, but I tell you, if you look at a woman or look at a man with lust, you've already committed adultery in your, in your heart. Jesus is driving home the point, just like with murder, adultery begins not with our eyes or with our actions, but with our heart. God is concerned about what's on the inside and letting that change who we are on the outside. Jesus continues here and he says, if your right eye causes you to stumble or your right hand causes you to stumble, gouge it out or cut it off. Now, Jesus is not teaching self-mutilation here. What Jesus is showing us is radical purity. If something causes you to sin, change it. Remove it from your life. Do what you have to do to be pure before God. This is not an easy thing. It may hurt, it may be hard, it may be challenging, it may cost you. But Jesus says to live for God, to be pure and holy before your God. Remove the things that stop that. For you that might be sexual temptation. For you that might be anger. For you that might be shopping, television, uh, eating, any number of different things that we need to adjust and correct in our lives. But the reality is, Jesus is calling us to radical purity. Purity that's willing to remove the thing that makes us impure before God. Matthew and Jesus continue to remind us, we serve a God, we have a Savior who expects great things, but always stands with us and empowers us to live in that. Father, we thank you. My prayer today is that we would take radical steps to be pure, to gouge our eyes, to cut our hands, to remove something from our lives, that we might be the people that you have called us to be, that we might live by your law as you have pre presented it and expect of us, that we would be devoted to you, that we would be holy because you are holy, different because you're different, pure because you're pure, all for your glory and for your kingdom. Help us, Lord, to be holy. In Jesus' name, amen.